Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome back to the channel. First of all, I just want to say hi, and that I'm back. I'm back off my tour. I was away for two weeks in South America. I was in Brazil and Argentina. Uh, for two weeks, I had a really, really intense tour. And at the end of it, I ended up getting sick. I was just so exhausted. There was too many flights. My logistics were crazy. I got home, and then I got really sick. So you can probably hear my voice. I'm still a little bit bunged up. I'm still not 100%. But um, I'm feeling better and I feel ready to watch some stuff, get some reactions and to do editing because it does take a lot of time and I just haven't felt 100% to do it yet. But we're going to do it today because last night the new teaser trailer for Obi-Wan Kenobi just dropped and I am so excited to see this because this has got to be one of my most anticipated series of the year. Uh, I mean, I've been waiting for this for so long. I've been so excited for this because I love you, McGregor, and I love him playing Obi-Wan Kenobi. I love Star Wars, so what's there not to be excited about? And not only that, we've got Hayden Christian back playing Darth Vader and Anakin Skywalker, which is just insane to me. I love the fact that we've got these two together on screen again. It's going to be amazing for Star Wars fans. It just really is a huge thing for Star Wars fans. I can't wait to see it. So fingers crossed, it's going to be good. I think they're going to do a good job of it. They've developed Obi-Wan Kenobi and Ewan McGregor's character as Obi-Wan so well within the previous films. I think they're going to do a good job of it. There's so much to go from and that's been left left with the creators of this to, you know, develop even further. So I'm not really worried about it, but who knows? So anyway, let's just watch this together and just hopefully it looks good. Okay, let's go. Oh, the music. The fight is done. Yep. Jedi have fallen. We lost. What is that? No way. That has to be Luke, right? Stay hidden. Oh, yes, the music's so good. The key to hunting Jedi. Just hearing that again is so good. Oh shit, who's that? Is that the... Hmm. Jedi cannot help what they are. Their compassion... leaves a trail. Uncle Owen! The Jedi code is like an itch. He cannot help it. Oh, I just love this music. Where is he? Shit, that looks so good. Are they in Coruscant? Hope survives. This is gonna be so good. No way! Yes! Vader's voice, well, breath. May the 25th. That's so cool as well, the little Disney lightsaber logo thing. <laughs> okay, sick, this is going to be so good. I can't wait for this because this takes place in such an interesting time of Star Wars. Order 66 has happened. Uh, the Jedi are no longer. The Anakin Skywalker has become Darth Vader and Obi-Wan has defeated Anakin, who's like his longtime apprentice and close friend. He loves him. So such an interesting time for this to, series to take place. I can't wait for it. I'm very, very interested to see how Obi-Wan and, well, I guess Darth Vader now are going to come back together because obviously Hayden, Hayden Christian is confirmed to come back and reprise the role of Anakin, Darth Vader. It's just going to be so good to see these two back on screen together. I just can't wait. But Obviously, Obi-Wan has taken Luke back to Uncle Owen, and obviously that's when Obi-Wan is having to take care of Luke, well, look over Luke anyway, whilst he leaves him with his uh, auntie and uncle. I can't remember his auntie's name, but Uncle Owen. The actor's back, I can't remember the actor's name, but he's back playing Uncle Owen, which is great. I love that. I just feel like this series could be the best one if they do it right. I'm a bit nervous because it's Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan is one of the biggest characters in Star Wars altogether, so they have to nail this. Like I said before, Boba Fett was great for me. I loved it, but I wasn't expecting too much from Boba Fett as a character. But Obi-Wan, though, is something that I feel like they could do really well because they've already developed his character so well within the prequels. 
and obviously the originals, but with as you McGregor, um, I feel like they've already developed his character so well that they they have enough information and lore and story and character development to be able to continue from that. Whereas Boba Fett was like a mysterious character; he never said anything. He was always behind a helmet. Um, it it's difficult for him because creating a new character out of him, people expect a certain thing and they never got it. I didn't mind. I love Boba Fett, but I could understand why people were bothered. Were bothered. Were bothered. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> but with this, I feel like they could do. A, they're probably going to do a, a much better job anyway with Obi Wan Kenobi's character because of how established he already is within the Star Wars world. But um, yeah, I'm just interested to see what the story is like and to see what happens. I am a massive Star Wars fan, but I'm not, like, the biggest fan of Star Wars. Like, I don't know the lore too much. I just kind of know what I've seen in the movies, and even that, my memory's still a little bit vague, especially with the originals and the prequels, just because of how long ago I watched them. So I'm kind of a bit lost as to exactly what's happened at this point. I know Order 66 has happened, but I can't really remember exactly what happened with that. So... I don't know, it's going to be interesting for me to just go in this. I probably should re-watch the originals and the, well, the prequels, sorry, and just see what happens, just to sort of refresh my memory. But, um, yeah, I feel like this is going to be such an interesting story. There's a couple of new characters. I know that the the bald guy, the Sif, he is the Grand Inquisitor, I think, um, from the Clone Wars. And I don't really know the Clone Wars too much, but he looks great in this. He looks like a really, like, evil enemy and I really like the fact he's got that sick lightsaber that's just spinning that looks really really cool I don't know what weapon that is but that looks sick I just want to see more Sif if we see more Sif that's going to be great it looks like we're going going to there's another woman in here who I guess she's Sif she's got the red lightsaber um I don't watch I don't know who she is I don't have any information on her right now I don't actually have any of the details on screen to go through it but just from what I've seen, it looks really, really good. I'm interested in seeing more of all, all of this. It just looks so good. One thing I will say is that people keep talking about how the fact Star Wars now is always taking place on Tatooine, which it actually is. It feels like it always is on Tatooine, and I've seen people talk about it many times, and then straight away we're on Tatooine. I felt a little bit like, I know Tatooine has to be there at some point because that's where Luke is staying with his uncle and auntie, but yeah, I just hope there's not too much of being on Tatooine because we've it's all Tatooine right now. Mandalorian has been so much of that. Boba Fett is Tatooine. Like, it feels like we're getting Tatooine over and over and over again. I really want to see some new locations, some new worlds. I feel like we're going to. I feel like this city that we see might be Coruscant. Um, it could be something else. I don't know. But I'm interested in seeing some new locations and some new places. And I hope that we get that in this series. The music in this was so good. We're getting proper Star Wars, like, score again. Which, obviously, we've had a mixture of stuff coming out throughout of um, Boba Fett. And the Mandalorian, they've got their own scores, their own themes, their own soundtrack, but obviously little bits of the Star Wars, the original Star Wars score comes through. This is original Star Wars, we're back to the main characters, the main narrative, obviously it's a spin-off from it, but got the music back and that's great. It definitely gave me a really good feeling listening to that over this. It got me really excited, and especially Darth Vader's breath at the end. Like, it's just so good that we're going to get him back again, I can't wait. So yeah, I can't wait for this. This is coming out on May the 25th which is three days after my birthday, so I'm going to be watching this from day one. If I'm at home, I'll try my best to do um, reactions to it and maybe watch-alongs. It just depends if I'm away or not. It's so difficult with my lifestyle uh, to be able to do everything on time when I want to because I'm always away and traveling. But if I'm at home, I will try and do some like watch parties or at least do record myself watching the episodes and doing live reactions and then i'll edit them and put them online for you guys to watch because i haven't done that yet and i really want to because some of some of the things that have happened in the previous series have blown my head off that my reaction just at home on my own is like i, I laugh at myself just how excited i get especially that moment that happened at the end of mandalorian season two which i won't spoil here but you know what i mean when that happened, I, I was crying, I was excited, I was jumping up. I think I even stood up, just stood up in my living room like, no way! And I would I wish that I recorded that, but um, I didn't. So maybe I will try that. I will try that with this. But anyways, guys, that's my reaction. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit the like button. That'd be amazing for me. Please let me know down below in the comments what you guys think. Are you excited for this? I want to know what your, all your thoughts are, what you think is going to happen, what's your theories. Please let me know down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. If you are new here and you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. That'd be amazing for me. But thanks again for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time on WAF World.